basically this WWE SmackDown is all about the money in the bank hype for all the roster pretty much that's involved in, in this event or that could be involved in the event. Yet, we still have some missing people like, I don't know, American Alpha, you know, where the fuck are the Ascension, American Alpha, you know, but anyway, it, it starts off with all the women, well, most of the women on the roster in the fucking ring, and Shane O'Mac comes out, so here comes the money to talk about the Money in the Bank ladder match for the women on the SmackDown roster. He goes down and introduces them all from Tamina, Natalia, Carmella, Becky, and woo, Charlotte. Ah, <sighs> Ellsworth, 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 James fucking Ellsworth. He gets the microphone and he says that Shane is wasting our time and he gives us the duh treatment. But no one is more of a big waste of time on this show than James Ellsworth and Carmella. Especially now since The Miz is gone. But anyway, <sighs> James Ellsworth basically passes on the mic. After giving us the duh treatment, he passes on the mic to Carmella, and Carmella says that she's gonna win, and because she's the princess of Staten Island, Interru interrupts. It. Okay, look, the queen interrupts. The queen interrupts the princess. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, good joke. The queen is like, yeah, all of you can brush up against greatness, <laughs> and of course, she's given a heelish promo, which okay. That's fine. The queen is a heel. She's big-headed. She's she's taking her glamour to a different stage as of right now. She's toned it down a bit, but she still gave a good promo here. Better than anybody else in this fucking segment. So, she said, yeah. Brush up against greatness. Yeah. The queen, yeah. She's going to win the first ever Women's Money in the Bank. Woo! But Natalia actually interrupts and she's like i don't want if i have to hear one more woo out of you and she basically says that it's not about charlotte it's about her <sighs> and this is her moment seriously natalia hasn't had a serious moment ever since she was farting in the ring but she once again says that she's the best is was will be and she'll win the first money in the bank and, and becky interrupts becky is like the only thing that you're best at is copy is basically Stealing the lines from your Uncle Brett. And what she, Becky is best at is ripping off arms. Well, she said that she's... Natalia is the best of ripping off Brett. And she said, I'm the best of ripping off arms. <laughs> then Tamina, of all people, gets to speak last? Why the fuck did that happen? Charlotte should have been the one to speak last. Because she could speak better than all of them. Combined. <laughs> Seriously. But Tamina, she's like... <sighs> she will go up, take the case, and shut them all up. Oh, God. Tamina, as women's champion. I, wow. Um, okay. Speaking of women's champion, Naomi comes out. Yeah, she does her, you know, her dancing and stuff like that with the women's championship belt on. That segment takes a long time, and she gets to the fucking ring. And she says that she wishes that she could be in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match because it's going to make history and all that. But remember, the winner has to face her and she'll be ready. And then Lana comes out. Um, okay, Lana. Yeah, spell Lana backwards, by the way. But anyway, it's just... Lana, yeah, looking beautiful as all hell, as usual... She hits the ring, and she says that she wants to be in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Now, the reaction of this is priceless from all the women that are in this ring. They were chuckling. They were trying to hold back laughter. All of them. Because, again, but Naomi is the one to speak up. She's like, you want to be in a Money in the Bank ladder match? You know, you've never even wrestled before. Who have you beat? But Lana responds, I can beat you. And I'm like, oh, God. I already see where this is going since Naomi doesn't even have a match at Money in the Bank. <sighs> anyway, Shane O'Mac is like, no, you're just not going to be placed in a match. You have to earn it around here. So Lana gets all pouty and pissy and just storms off. <laughs> but 
now we have a six woman tag team match. Okay, Naomi, Charlotte, and Becky versus Tamina, Natalia, and Carmella. Oh, and Ellsworth. <laughs> oh, God. And the heels actually fucking win this match. And the reason why they won is because Lana came back out and basically cost <sighs> Naomi the match. Naomi gets tripped up while she's on the fucking apron and gets put in the ring and gets a fucking super kick by Tamina. And Tamina pins the WWE SmackDown Women's Champion. Tamina. Of all people. Couldn't pit Natalia at that point. Even though, okay, she would have probably farted on her while she pinned her, but Carmella, no. Tamina, no. You couldn't have picked Natalia at that point. But anyway, um, wow. So, yeah. The heels win that match. Oh, boy. Mojo Raleigh and Shane O'Mac are in the back with the Andre Memorial Battle Royal Trophy. Mojo Evans was like, yes, I've been ghost, but I want an opportunity. You know, I'm the only one that's beaten Jinder Mahal ever since he came on SmackDown Live. Yes, that's true. He does have a point. But I believe he had some help while, you know, he was doing that. He had help to win the Andre Battle Royal. And, but I digress. Okay. So, <sighs> the thing about it is Shane offers him something though. He says that if you can beat Jinder Mahal tonight, you will be placed as a seventh member of the Money in the Bank ladder match. Oh God, I did not want Mojo Rawley in the Money in the Bank. Look, if you like Mojo Rawley, hats off to you. Yeah, fine, fantastic, but I am not feeling Mojo. No, I don't stay hype. No, I am not a fan of the hype bros. Uh, no, just... I'm not a fan of Mojo Rawley. I'm sorry. I'm just not. I just don't see anything for him. And imagining him wearing one of these is like, no. I uh, just... Please, no. Uh, unless they do some type of master improving. Uh, anyway. AJ Styles versus Dolph Ziggler in a return match from last week. Now, I was very surprised when when Ziggler actually knocked off AJ Styles last week. But this week, I guess they tried to set it right. Even though last week was in AJ's hometown, this week, it was just a little payback measure. And things went back to normal for Dolph Ziggler and AJ Styles, as far as hyping them up for the fucking Money in the Bank ladder match. But the climax of the match was AJ, you know, he was going to go for the phenomenal forearm, but he faked it out. He, yeah, then... It ends while AJ tried to roll him up. And then, out of the roll-up, he hits the Styles Clash on Ziggler and actually beats him that way. So, once again, we're back to normal. But, still. Um, do Does anyone still consider Dolph Ziggler as a fucking threat? Not me. I, I just don't. I will be very fucking surprised if Ziggler actually wins the Money in the Bank contract again. But, anyway. You have Breezango... And their fashion files. Talking about cologne. Yeah. And the colognes. Oh god. Yes they tried to make this a comedy segment. But it just wasn't biting. And then the New Day shows up. The New Day shows up and actually acts about the Usos. So what does Breezango do? They pull out their shirts. The day one-ish. And things like that. And I'm just like. Oh god. Please. That's. No. Yeah, so now they're on the case. New Day actually leaves and, okay, new case rocks. New case rocks. I'm just like, oh, God. Anyway, oh. Jinder Mahal against Mojo Rawley. I have to give credit where credit is due here. I'm applauding for Jinder Mahal's intro. I want, look, go watch it. Please watch Jinder Mahal's intro when he walked down the ramp. I was extremely impressed the way they fucking did it. He gets introduced by the Singh brothers, but while he's walking out, it's all darkness. Next thing you know, below him starts the appearance of the red carpet and all his graphics. 
And then he takes off the belt. He kisses the belt. He folds it up and kisses it and holds it up. And then that's when his art on the Titan Tron and then the back of him comes up. I was like, that was fucking cool. It was. And I applaud WWE for creating that. Again, I never thought that Jinder Mahal will be WWE champion, but shit. I, I mean, I even predicted that he would win it, but I'm still kind of surprised that the WWE went that route. But anyway, Mojo Rawley versus Jinder Mahal, and Jinder actually fucking wins. Yes, it was a distraction from one of the Sting brothers that actually caused Mojo Rawley's demise, but no one touched him. I mean, it was just a distraction, and that was it. There was no water or beer splash into his face or any garbage like that. No, it's just a distraction and Jinder took advantage in beating. Okay, fine. After the match, Jinder Mahal actually gets on the fucking microphone and he's like, alright, look, he dismantled the dreams of Mojo just like he'll dismantle the dreams of Randy Orton in his hometown of St. Louis. Huh, <sighs> okay, that that's fine. I, yeah. And then he speaks in his language in Punjabi. After that, he kind of botched going up the fucking turnbuckle, going up the ropes. He got laughed at. I thought it was pretty funny too, but he waved it off and actually climbed it anyway and actually held up the belt and stuff like that. But anyway, okay. Randy Orton has a backstage interview. And he said that, okay, he talked to his father, Ric Flair and Harley Race. And he got advice from them. And he basically was told that action speaks louder than words. And it actually fucking does here. Huh. So, Jinder's going to hear him loud and clear as far as his actions at Money in the Bank. Okay, short and sweet interview. That's fine. The New Day versus the Colognes. Okay. Um, I'm not taking the Colognes seriously. But then, when did I ever take them seriously recently? Remember, they are former tag team champions, but... It's just now, all after all the repackaging and, you know, Los Matadores and the Cologne, they, yeah, they, no, they just fell off. Bring back Carlito and have them do the three-man Freebird rule thing, please. That would fucking work, especially now. The tag team division needs help, assistance, guidance, everything. And Carlito coming back and being a part of that three-man crew... That would fix all of that. And arguably, I mean, come on. He has the best, best mic skills out of all of them. Please do that shit. Or bring Savio Vega back in order to be their manager. Something. But the clones, man. They just, yeah. New Day wins with the Midnight Hour. Then the Usos. They come out and they basically make fun of the New Day. They make fun of Kofi's hair. They make fun of Big E's boobs. And then they make fun of Xavier's shoes they say now look up 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 down down and they make fun of his shoes and make fun of up up down down and then they do the whole back hair back of the neck standing up thing yeah it's the usos yeah okay fine <sighs> Sami Zayn had an interview and he said that he watched the footage of every participant in the money in the bank ladder match but he says there's one person that he couldn't figure out, and that was Shinsuke Nakamura, because, you know, he changes up his style, and, and yeah, that's fine. And so he's going to be on commentary during the Nakamura-Kevin Owens match. But before he could do so, Baron Corbin shows up, and he's like, I want to ask him something, and basically beats him down. <sighs> Sami Zayn gets beat down by Baron Corbin again backstage. Damn. I mean, come on. At least have Sami Zayn fight back. Not just straight get his ass whooped. But that's what happened here. And even ladders came into the play because there are ladders back there. And he ran Sami in the ladders. And Corbin was like, it looks like a spot for commentary just opened up. So basically, he's going to take over his commentary later on tonight. <sighs> Now, um, Naomi wants Lana at Money in the Bank. <sighs> Naomi goes up to Shane O'Malley. She's like, look, she said that she could beat me. 
and and uh, and yeah. All right, here's my theory on this. You haven't seen Rusev in a fucking while, okay? And you haven't heard about that angle about him coming back and demanding a title shot for Money in the Bank. They can't that. They there's no word of that. And now Lana mysteriously fucking comes back. Maybe it's because Daniel Bryan is at home, you know, nursing his newborn and stuff like that. Maybe it was supposed to be with Daniel Bryan and Rusev instead of Shannon Rusev, but whatever. What if, what if Rusev Machka, Rusev come back, Rusev help Lana, Rusev uh, 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 crush, R Lana crush, and Lana wins the championship like that at Money in the Bank, then gets cashed in on. That could fucking happen, but yeah. So, Naomi issues the challenge. Shane basically was like, yeah, all right. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Naomi versus Lana at Money in the Bank for the Women's Championship. <laughs> Fun. So, you have Kevin Owens versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, look. I think this is like the third straight week that Shinsuke Nakamura has gotten the best of Kevin Owens. Yeah. Pins him again. And it was a pretty good fucking match. It displays Nakamura... For those who don't know about him from NXT. And he beats the United States champion in a non-title match. I like the way Kevin Owens does his intro. Because yes, he's the new face of America. And he gets announced as that. But while he's in, while he walks out, his face is down. Now they have a ground Titan Tron type of thing. With graphics and stuff like that. And his face is on that. And he refuses to walk on his face. He walks around it. Which I think is kind of cool and funny. But yeah, he loses the match. But... Afterwards, Baron Corbin attacks again. He attacks Nakamura and gives him the end of days. So Baron Corbin is the one that's standing tall at the end of SmackDown Live. And that was basically it. So what did you think of the show? Do you agree or disagree with things that I'm saying besides the results here? Do you think I'm full of shit? I, I would still like to hear from you. Please. Let me know in the comment section. And hit that like button. Hit subscribe. I'm always open to a debate about wrestling here. Ah, <sighs> Smackdown. And once again, it was better than Raw this week. Not saying much though, because Raw is just... Yeah. Drop kicks, body slams. Throw motherfuckers over a top rope. Both feet hitting the floor. Yes, I'm a wrestling fan. This is the theme. And I'll see you later. Credits. Mm -hmm.